Antoine, um, what a great win. Yeah, really good win, really good. You know, the boys uh, executed the plan uh, really well. Uh, we took our chances, you know, Newport had theirs, but, you know, we took our ones, which was excellent. So, um, yeah, pleased with the boys. Yeah, really pleased. Obviously, a lot of young players playing as well. Um, players sort of from the under 16s in the academy, some of the under 17s, some of our development squad players. So, it shows that sort of all programmes are working together and we can put a squad together of players who know what's expected of them and, and can perform to, to do so. When you saw the, the team sheet from Newport, I think they were all pros mm. the starting 11. Um, were you quite expecting this kind of result? No. <laughs> Looking at that team sheet, I thought, here we go. Could be five or six here, you know, um, like we've done to them when we played them. Our players had the youth team out in Newport, and sometimes it is tough, you know what I mean? Youngsters playing against pros. Um, but to be fair, the boys, you know, to be honest, they played like pros today. You know, they moved the ball really well, um, and then defensively, they're very disciplined. Um, and we caught them on a break, you know, which, is, which was the game plan. So. First half, Newport were, were clearly on top, uh, but it was a sort of 1 to 11 defensive effort from the whole team, wasn't it? It wasn't just the back four on the keeper. Yeah, 100%. I mean, we're massive on personalities and character. That sort of feeds down from the first team all the way through that the right personalities and characters who, who are ready to compete and ready to do what's needed. And all players from the goalkeeper all the way to centre forward, and then even the two lads who came on all showed that they were able to compete on a level that for 90 minutes protected the goal and then when needed could have some end product and, and put the ball in the back of the net. It's hard to pick out individual performances. Mm. Um, all 13 uh, players played well. Uh, but I will just mention Josh Thomas. Um, fantastic run, set up the penalty, slotted at home. He was the only second second year out there. Um, you must be pleased with his sort of prospect in the game. Yes, yes. It's uh, frustrating from our point because we know that's what he's got in his locker. Um, but he needs to do it on a regular basis and be consistent. you know. But today, if he played like that every week, well, he'd have a pro no problem on the foot. But it's, it's consistency is the key. What's coming up for the rest of the season? What kind of, what kind of games have they got coming up? Uh, so the 18s, they've got an under-17s game on Saturday. Um, they had a break in the games programme, so we organised an under-17s game, which again gives the lads of sort of under-15, 16s the opportunity to experience uh, going into men's football as such. Uh, then we've got Peterborough away um, a week Saturday as we, we're going to the back end of the season. So some good games coming up, some nice and competitive games, and again, it'll be really nice to lead some of the younger lads coming through um, to prepare them ready for youth team next year. All round, you both just must, must be very proud. Happy. Very happy, <laughs> yes. Brilliant. Cheers, guys. Well done. Nice Cheers, one. George. Thank you.